God bless you guys and good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, we're going to be reading out of the Jesus Calling devotional. Anyway, um, you know, this morning I woke up with um, racing thoughts, you know, being tempted to um, fall into anxiety and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It was um, one of those moments that, you know, sometimes you just wake up and you start your day and you don't get on your knees the way you're supposed to. Yeah. And, um, you know, it happens to all of us. I mean, you know, it, we, we we all deal with anxiety and all of these feelings. And feelings. Yep, feelings. But um, I read something in my devotional that really struck me. And I wanted to share it with you. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know about you guys, man, but when you got uh, friends that, that, you know, man, that, that just lift you up and, 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 and put you in a good place, you know, those are the kind of people you want to hang around with. And um, reality is, that's why I love Jesus. He is my friend. Now, anyway, let's go to the devotional. It says, um, bring me all of your feelings. This is like the Lord talking. It says, bring me all of your feelings, even the ones you wish you didn't have. Fear and anxiety still plague you. Um, feelings um, per se are not sinful, but they can be temptations to sin. Blazing milestones of fear fly at you day and night. These attacks are from the evil one. And they come relentlessly. Use your shield of faith to extinguish those um, flaming arrows. Affirm your trust and your faith in me, regardless of how you feel. Wow. Regardless of how I feel, I must put my trust in him. Good word, good word. It gets better, watch. <clears throat> If you persist, your feelings will eventually fall in line with your faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. It doesn't say we walk by feelings and then the faith will come. Watch this. Do not hide from me fear of the present. Do not hide from me fear of the present. It is always there. Anxiety that you hide in the recesses of your heart will give birth to fear of fears. A monstrous mutation. Bring your anxieties out into the light of my presence where we can deal with them together. Consecrate one trust. Consecrate Oh, excuse me, concentrate. <laughs> I need more coffee. Concentrate on trusting me. And fearless um, and fearfulness will gradually lose his foothold on you. You know, the Bible tells us to um, have nothing to do with the fruitless works of darkness, but rather expose them. I believe that when we hold all of the fear and anxiety inside of our heart, it, something begins to happen. It becomes the very thing that we um, focus on. And believe it or not, when you focus on something long enough, it's actually what you're meditating on. I said it's what you're meditating on. Now, the Word of God also tells us, actually, it's in Psalms 1, um, where it tells us, um, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. He doesn't stand in the path of sinners. He doesn't sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And therein he meditates day and night. Look, man, I'm just like you. I have to catch myself constantly with my own personal stinking thinking. And, um, you know, this morning was just that. I woke up, you know. My 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 wifey um was um in the other room and and I'm and I'm like you know she normally doesn't get up before me so I'm like oh boy well, is she okay you know and and right away the thoughts begin okay then I started remembering the, some of the things that happened at, at work that weren't so good that I really didn't appreciate you know when you 
you know, have to deal with certain circumstances or in situations where, you know, you have to make tough decisions and sometimes you, you know, have to be firm. Um, but besides that, you know, you come across um, early in the morning with all of these negative thoughts, with all of these bombardments of um, um, things that happened, could have happened, didn't happen, should have happened, you know. It's like when you get into an argument with a with a with a person and you tell yourself later on after you think about it, you say, Man, I could have said this, I could have said that, but you know what? Um, even that is meditating on the wrong thing. Let's see what the word of God says in Ephesians chapter six, verse sixteen. It says, In addition to all these, take up the shield of faith, which um with which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. You have to understand that, you know, um, the enemy throws um, these flaming arrows of doubt, of, of defeat, of anxiety. And um, he goes he goes straight for the jugular. He goes man, from the neckline up. You know, he, he wants to, you know, chop it right where it needs to get, you know. He, he shoots the arrow where it needs to go, which is right here. That's where most of the time, uh, uh, have, uh, let's just be honest, most of the time that's where the battle is. It's in, the, it's in your mind, and half the time, you know, you're you're thinking about something, you're 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 focused on something, you 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 put your mind and your emotions wrap around this thing like a burrito, and you know what? You begin to have yourself a nice little burrito party, anxiety burrito, that's what I call it, and and, and you know what? You don't have to. You can choose to calibrate rethink put your thoughts on something else this is why i'm making this video because i refuse to have the um devil live up in here hmm? rent free man matter of fact he getting the eviction notice now you got to go you got to go you got to go and how do we do that we bring the word of god in amen see faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of god faith is that shield of faith that we take up and we like no man not today boom 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 you know what i'm saying and um you know it's a, it's a constant warfare you know some people want to act like no you know what god will take care of me no yeah he will but there are some times where he puts us right in the in the front lines hmm? In order that we may begin to learn to use these things that he has given us that we may be able to defend not just ourselves but to teach others of how to go about taking care of business themselves you feel me you know you got to put on the helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness you got to guard your heart that's right you got to guard your heart watch what you leading up in there hmm? Because what is happening up here affects this thing here. Hmm? And this is why we need to shield the faith. We need the belt of truth. We need to have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hmm? We definitely need, and I mean this, we need the sword of the spirit, which is God's mighty word. And I already made this video a little bit too long. So let me just hurry up and get to where I need to go here. Um, we're going to be reading out of um, 1 John chapter 1 verses 5 through 7 and this is what it says. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. I'm going to say that again. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet we walk in darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk mm, in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another in the blood of Jesus. Mm, the son of God purifies us from all sin. First of all, none of us are going to be perfect. We're all going to go through um, moments of anxiety. We all deal with issue. But when we have fellowship in him, we keep it 100. We ain't playing these, um, you know, church games. You feel me? This ain't about playing church games. This is about warfare. This is about manning up. This is about being a man for real. You know, when you was out in the street, you know what I'm saying? 
you want you weren't scared, right? You know, I'm talking to all you guys that are out there that been there and know what I'm talking about. But all of a sudden, you know, when it comes to the spiritual things of God, you begin to doubt yourself. You begin to think, am I really doing the right thing? Am I really going? I'm I mean, I'm talking to you. Yep, you. Not homeboy or homegirl should have been listening to this message. Nope, you. Let me show you something. It says, surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. I'm going to stop right here and um and just go ahead and let you guys know that I love you. I, I, I know I come forceful. But I just want to encourage you, man. I don't want you to live your life, you know, uh, in, in anxiety for many, many years I lived like that. And I, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. You know, medication could only do so much. But the Word of God can do so much more. And I'm not telling you don't take meds. I'm not telling you don't do this. I mean, God can choose any which way He wants you to go ahead and bring you healing. And if it's through an operation, through man, through whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and man, God, man, may the Lord bless the doctor and give him wisdom who is dealing with you, whether it has to do with anxiety, issues of anxiety, whether it has to do with psychiatric um, valuations, whether it has to do with whatever. We all suffer from something. And this is why Jesus came. For the lost and the broken. I pray that today... You will recognize that he loves you. You don't have to live in anxiety. Focus. Get your mind right. Focus on him. Focus on the word. God bless you.